greetings and welcome to another news update. I am the Ninjaneer and uh, we have topics. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Today we will be discussing, am I dreaming? Am I crazy? Warren Buffett decided to drop his stake in GM. Aptera's Air In 2 video came out and I saw some things. There are fewer than 500 slots left on the accelerator program. In-wheel motors may become a standard. And finally, things that I liked. Let's go ahead and get going here. First things first, I believe I remember seeing a post on the platform formerly known as Twitter basically saying that we could expect a new video update soon from the Aptera team. The picture showed Chris Anthony in front of a camera with a blue button-up shirt. Uh, yeah, the post's disappearance shortly after uh, made me think that it was because they were going to put it up later with like a different picture or uh, a different message or something like that. Uh, long story short, I did not get a screenshot of this post, uh, so since it has been uh, so long I'm starting to actually question whether or not I actually saw it because it has not come back. Um, yeah. Anyway, um, there was a post probably, and uh, yeah, that makes me think that there's going to be something with Aptera. Uh, or that Aptera is going to rele release sometime soon with relation to their monthly update and things like that. But yeah, did anybody else see that post? Um, did anybody see it? Like anything like that? Because I'm, I'm really curious if I'm crazy or not. Uh, yeah, let me know in the comments uh, if they, uh, if the post did exist and I am not crazy. Uh, let me guys think. Uh, let me know what you guys think will be the topics of the monthly update. For as long as I can remember, I've been following and pining after cool gadgets. Uh, chief among my fascinations with cool tech is cars. It is not lost on me that there is something special about the sound of a Mustang GT500, uh, or something inherently beautiful about a late 1950s Buick. That stated, as a lifelong lover of the automobile and companies that produce them, it is gut-wrenching to see the decline and possibly even the death of some of, if not most, of those companies from my past. Especially because I and many other people much more credible than me saw it happening, knew it was preventable, and even in the case of some of, some of those more reputable voices, tried to tell them it was happening. The future of the automobile is objectively electric vehicles. Even at their inception, they had advantages over internal combustion engines, uh, or ICE vehicles, that uh, have only increased up to this day, um, widening the gap and uh, increasing the viability of electric vehicles um, as their tech continues to improve. This fact, combined with Legacy Auto's insistence on ignoring these changes as a fad or out of fear of their institutional investors, and probably many others are what drove one of, if not the most prolific investors in the world to drop their stake in GM. If this was not a clear enough message, I don't know what is. Without a serious change of course, uh, GM and several other companies that are considered legacy auto will no longer exist. Heck, the 10 or 15 year delay uh, has already guaranteed their market share in the future of uh, electric vehicles will be orders of magnitude less than what they were uh, historically. <laughs> Good lord. Uh, even saying that sentence like out loud kind of it makes my gut wrench a little bit like it, it's it hurts <laughs> but uh, be that as it may why talk about this in an Aptera news video? Very simple. Uh, Aptera is positioned if they meet their production goals to fill in a lot of the gaping chasm that will be left by Legacy Auto. In short, I believe the new big three will be Tesla, Toyota, and Aptera. If they get their production vehicles fully validated and out to customers in 2024, like they are saying that they will. Aptera's Air N2 video saw quite a few changes that we did not see in videos even as recent as the original Air N video. I think they are really showing us the last renders before they reveal the production intent vehicle. Uh, it is exciting. It is really, truly, deeply exciting. 
One thing I did notice is their access to the rear wheel, as shown in the video, is at least, in my opinion, lacking. I hope they rethink that little porthole and make it either bigger or allow the rear wheel pant to open up like a clamshell from the back or, you know, something to that effect. The accelerator program uh, has come a long way. It is both fascinating and encouraging to see how uh, much people support a movement like Aptera. At this point, there are fewer than 500 slots left, and I believe this is a perfect time to talk about the contest I'm running for uh, my accelerator slot. Many months ago, I announced a contest that revolved around using specific words in a sentence. That contest is still going on, and every so often I do get a new entry. The link to the rules for that contest will be linked below, but basically, I mentioned the contest to emphasize that as soon as the uh, 2000s 2000th slot is filled in, I will be announcing the winner to that contest in a video and reaching out to that winner for details on how to claim their prize. To those who have entered, thank you for your entries. They are all so good that I really have a task ahead of me uh, when picking the winner. That stated, the number of entries is fairly small, so the chances of winning are actually pretty darn good. So uh, if you are not an accelerator but still want a slot, I would say enter ASAP. There are times you read an article that takes you by surprise in a good way. That article for me was a Green Car Reports article that talked about in-wheel motors and how they are becoming more prevalent. As stated in that article, a recently surfaced patent application hints at an in-wheel motor for the future of performance road cars. First spotted by CarBuzz, a filing published by the United States Patent and Trademark Office, uh, USPTO, November 2nd, 2023, filled the previous April, the Italian performance automaker appears to be working to negotiate, uh, sorry, to integrate motors together with frictionless brake, uh, with friction brakes as part of a car's wheel assembly. Ferrari is developing axial flux motors, but the application discusses the more traditional type of motor of the radial flux permanent magnet synchronous kind. As described in the application, the stator would be part of the wheel hub, while the rotor would be attached to the wheel rim. This would also incorporate the brake disc as part of the assembly, with the disc and rotor separated by a spacer. Long story short, there are big, uh, fancy, important supercar names that are being uh, considered with respect, uh, considerate with respect to the idea of putting a in-wheel or hub motor into their vehicle. In fact, some of these companies are even considering using Alafe motors. So. Yeah, the future is looking more efficient and cheaper by the day. Uh, these motors will eliminate uh, drive shafts and all sorts of um, McGu MacGuffins or, or gobbins bits, bits, uh, all sorts of bits that kind of uh, increase the number of parts and the complexity and the repair costs of vehicles. Um, yeah, it's only a good thing. <laughs> um, yeah, like I said earlier, electric vehicles, are so much the future that even uh, supercar companies that have been historically uh, fixated on, you know, those drivetrains that are not electric are starting to um, integrate cutting edge electric technology into their vehicles. All right, now for things that I like this week. Aptera Owners Club has been on an absolute tear when it comes to good Aptera content. Uh, Steve has been discussing prevalent comments in videos where he jogs and I am here for it. Not only does this series inspire me to exercise, the discussion while he is running is honestly top-notch. I tip my hat to anyone who can make a format like that work and uh, not sound like they are out of breath from the beginning of the video to the end, something like I would. Anyway, Sam Alexander is a channel that I've talked about before as well. Uh, his most recent video, which along with every other topic will have a link below, talks about the framing of electric vehicles in the industry uh, in the eyes of the news media and legacy automotive. The video was a very in-depth uh, look and echoes what I think the auto industry actually looks like to those who are watching it closely. Drive the Lightning is putting out a video series as well that talks about some of the most frequently asked questions on Google and among their fans with relation to Aptera. Um, much like the Aptera Owners Club, except with 
less jogging. Uh, they are fun and engaging as usual, and I can't recommend them more. Free Power is uncovering links to Korean investors who may be actively looking at investing in Aptera, which is extremely positive in the grand scheme of things. I say the more folks looking into investing in Aptera, the better. This will only speed up production and allow us to get our vehicles sooner. Uh, sooner is better. Always. Uh, well, not always, but in this case, yes. At any rate, that's the video. Um, I've been thinking of a unique nickname for my subscribers and I am uh, drawing a blank. Uh, I kind of want to say something like, thank you all for watching, uh, insert cool name here. Um, so any suggestions to that end would be great. Um, I'm extremely close to 500 subscribers as well, so if you would focus on that particular YouTube thing, it would mean a lot. But for all of the YouTube all the YouTube things that you guys are so good at, thank you so much for all that you do, for the liking, the subscribing, the uh, comments, all that stuff. It keeps me going, uh, pumps me up, and, uh, you know, keeps me um, excited about making the next video. So, uh, yeah, I'm sure you guys are um, excited about Aptera like I am. I am sure that you guys will uh, be keeping your ear to the ground for that uh, future news update that I'm sure is coming very soon. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Uh, have a great week. One thing I did notice is their access to the rear wheel, as shown in the video, is at least, in my opinion, lacking. Uh, I hope that they rethink that little porthole and make it either bigger or allow the rear rear wheel. Oh my goodness, that's gonna be one. That's gonna be a thing. The rear wheel. All right. There are times you read an article that takes you by surprise in a good way. Uh, that article for me was a Green Car Reports article that talked about uh, in wheel motors and how they are becoming more prevalent, as stated in the article. Let's see here. Ooh. Oh no, I closed the window. Oh no. Oh no. Hold up. We're getting there. We're getting there.